So today we're gonna to be talking about Once Human. I have played this game for about 31 hours and I like this game a lot. I think this is a fantastic free to play game. The game is easy. There's not really much to it. There are some problems, but for the most part, I think those problems can be ironed out and you got yourself a good solid base game. Uh, no pay to win stuff. You don't need to spend your money on anything if you don't want to. And overall, like I said, a, a fantastic good game. It's got PVE elements, it's got PVP elements. Uh, I have not engaged in any of the PVP elements at all because I just wanted to see how the base game was without indulging into the PVP aspect. But I think I'm going to be doing another playthrough uh, stream. I'm not, not another. I am going to be doing a stream and putting on PVP mode just to see how that mode goes. And then we'll talk about the game with the PVP mode enabled. Now, without PVP, you're going into just strictly PVE content. This game will take you about 24 to around 34 ish hours, but you should be finishing the game between 24 and 34 hours. No problem. Okay. There's a guy right on his motorcycle. He's just chilling. Uh, there's only three bosses currently three raid bosses. There are a lot of open world bosses, which is great. And of course there's like minions and they're basically like sirens. If you don't know what a siren is, just google it but they're basically sirens and they're pretty unique and pretty interesting i like the building in this game fantastic you got your blueprints okay you got your uh house blueprints you got your presets i had a i had a house but i deleted it because it just wasn't that good and uh, i was about to remake it but i beated the game and i was like meh it's gonna get reset anyway i don't really care and i just want to completely restart with the uh with the house when the next season drops plan it better do it better but it was a great little house that i had it was fantastic i did not need that much space that i had in it um we'll see how the next one goes but building fantastic you have also these little the metrics and i don't know what happened but i did have all of these not all of them i shouldn't say all of them but i had them I had some of these slotted and picked out and as I was going through just recently, I was going through and taking some of them away to get points, these points back. Uh, it completely resetted all of it and now I got nothing. So I don't know what happened, but I'd have to go out and get more of these in order to re-socket them again, which is weird. I don't know how that happened. Maybe I hit a button by accident. Maybe I hit the R button by accident. It is what it is with that. I don't want to go back and farm that. I'd rather just restart a new character than go and just reform all that again. I got these back, but I didn't get these back. So, and I had a lot, like I had, I had all, I had a lot of stuff. So why I didn't get this back, I don't know. But anyway, cosmetics to change the way your, how your character looks is pretty cool. I got all this just by playing the game. I didn't buy anything. I got it all just by playing the game. No problem. I think it might have been a battle pass thing. I'm not sure, but playing the game, I got that. The gun play is fantastic. I like the gun play in this game. It's simple, easy to do. A mix between uh, Division and Rust, pretty much, I would say. That's basically what it kind of feels like. You can aim in first person, but you can't play in first person. I hope they add that eventually at some point. That would be great. What do you do in the game? Well, you load in and it puts you into a little tutorial kind of thing. And then after the tutorial, you get the whole, well, not the whole map, but you get to open up this part of the map over here. Okay. I went a little bit further up here to see what would happen. And there's like an invisible wall. It won't let you go through. There's also an invisible wall down here too. It won't let you go through. But anyway, so once you do that, it's going to ask you to come and go to, I believe this right here is, this is the first boss, the monolith. This is the first raid boss. And it's going to have you activate these five rift anchors. So you got to activate five of these. Once you do that, you'll unlock this boss and then you can just go do the raid boss whenever you want. You can do it in a group, you can do it solo, whatever you want to do. Okay, I did all of them solo, no problem. You also have these towns and in these towns, I probably have one that I haven't done yet right here. You'll see that I didn't do this one yet. In these towns, you got to look for the mystical crate. Some of them you have to kill people, some of them you don't. Well, not people, but like you have to kill deviants. Uh, you have to find one, sometimes two weapon crates and then activate the rift anchor, which is this, okay? You just got, that's, that's the whole game. Just go to a spot, figure it out, activate the rift anchor, and you can do this little area for more stuff. I would recommend that you, if you go to a spot, if you go to a city, 
that you just do the whole thing. So don't go there just to activate the anchor. That's what I did. Started doing and I got uh, that's why it took me a little bit longer to actually get to the final boss because I didn't get all this other stuff that I should have got as I was going. Well, I didn't even get that anchor, but some of them I didn't get the anchor for like this one over here. I went here to activate the anchor and I didn't do I didn't do this though. So you should always do that every time you go to an anchor do it you should do the side quest i didn't do all the side quests either but uh, i mean you don't have to do all of it i mean it's gonna get reset anyway so does it really matter i don't know it is what it is but that's pretty much it just go to it's gonna ask you to go to a camp okay the camp's gonna give you a quest to unlock the anchors around the raid so there's the raid and that's all the anchors you activate five anchors there's only five anchors there so there you go five anchors then you go and do the raid you go to the next camp so the camp would be right here the raids there it's gonna ask you to activate five anchors i started activating all of them at some point but five anchors once that's done you do the raid and then oh well, okay well not that one but this one five anchors do the raid and then up here five anchors do the raid that's it so nothing five anchors do the raid so what do the anchors do i have no idea but they give you stuff, so I'll take it, you know? I will take it. You also have these little teleportation towers down. You don't want to be fast traveling all the time. You want to, you're going to have to want to put your uh, base in a good middle ground. So, a good middle ground. So, I mean, I'm kind of in the middle ground, but it's also got a problem of trying to find iron and copper stuff. But I would just put uh, your main base wherever the iron is just to help you out way, way, way faster which I think is mostly up here is where the iron is. I didn't find anywhere else to be iron other than up here. Co uh, there's some copper up here, there's some tin up here, but most of it up here is pretty much iron. In this game, you can have lights and stuff. So structures, I used to have, I didn't have all of it unlocked, but I have a pretty good decent of it unlocked. I had, not anymore. But you have your, your structures, you got your facilities, which is all this stuff. Okay, storage, defenses, all this. I didn't really use the defenses at all, to be honest. You got all these, you got the power, you got your outdoor, right? All that stuff. And uh, yeah, you don't need lights. You don't need to, um, you don't need to build a solar panel. You don't need to build a solar generator to use these lights, by the way, you just, once you unlock it, you just stick it to the ceiling. It'll just automatically turn on. That goes for all these lights. You only need the solar panel for when you need to build stuff like this or like this. You know, it says it has, it has a little electric electric uh, lightning bolt, I should say. So you'll need to do it for that pretty much. Anything like that. You're going to need electricity. I'm curious as how the seasons are going to go because... This feels like a game where I wouldn't, I don't really want the game to reset. I'd rather have the map open up over time because resetting is going to be an absolute pain in the butt because you're wasting about uh, minimum 20 plus hours to try and do all this. And for someone like me who goes to work and stuff, it took a long time to actually get to this part and the season is already gonna reset, I think, in two days it resets and uh, then i gotta do it all over again right so it took me a while to figure out the game first of all then it took me a while to figure out how to actually progress through the game it, and the game is not that hard you know it's not hard at all like this is what i had when i defeated the uh, except for this i had a like a level a tier one i had a tier one sniper that's what i had over that and uh, everything else here i had when i defeated the last the raid boss and uh, now everything is locked and i gotta wait for the next season to go to the tall grass mission so you got shops there isn't really any well i wouldn't there is no pay to win mechanics this looks like a harley quinn kind of thing going on here but anyway you got the shop you can buy stuff cosmetics buy some cosmetics if you want uh territory stuff well that's the whole glass house which is pretty cool how much is that i wonder 77 dollars just for that i'm gonna i'm gonna pass on that 77 dollars canadian i would not pay 77 dollars for cosmetics but whatever to each their own um, i don't like the game that much to spend 70 fucking dollars but i still like the game the game is still solid my concern is uh the seasonal stuff 
apparently they're going to be resetting the entire map when it comes to seasons and you'll get you'll be able to keep everything except the map restarts and your character i believe starts at level one again if i'm not mistaken so not 100 percent sure about the, the character level but everything i did here is reset and then i think a different part of the map unlocks which is what i'm going to go by off of this quest a different part of the map unlocks i'm not sure if this is going to stay the same or not if it's going to be open or closed but a different part of the map unlocks and then you just go from there now like i said i'd rather just have them open each thing and then i can just do whatever i want to do in the game i don't think seasonal resets belongs in a game like this i think it's a very bad idea and i'm not for it at all considering it took me 20 hours just to progress through the campaign without any pvp elements to it so and there's still a lot more i want to discover there's still a lot more i want to unlock but because it's going to reset in about two days uh once i defeat the last raid boss i'm just going to stop right there because there's no point in progressing if i don't have to progress so that is that's that um that's pretty much all i have i mean the game it's another simple free-to-play game very basic very popular people really like this game and i do think that uh if they want to try to reset it and see how the reset season goes fine i'll come back and play it I'm not going to be a fan of having constant resets it's just not going to be for me if they keep doing constant resets i'm just not going to bother because it, it feels mostly like a single player game doesn't really feel pvp at all in any way shape or form unless you're going to pvp server then of course there's gonna be something different there but going through the campaign without pvp uh or it was already long enough i can only imagine how it's going to be when you actually have pvp pvp on and you can't build multiple bases which is kind of stupid like i would rather i would like to have a base over here i'd like to have a base over here and i'd like to have a base over here right so i can just travel through the the three different bases and uh just keep going that way you know and then i'm saving some uh some travel points so i don't have to spend my freaking points when i go travel somewhere right i can just travel to my bases instead i feel like traveling to the cities as well these like main camps i should say traveling to the main camp should be free and if you want to travel to like one of these that's what should cost you okay so if you want to travel to one of these camps here and just travel and just go to the base that way or the raid i should say that way that should be fine but if you want to spawn like right next to it this should cost some currency uh, every single thing shouldn't cost currency i can our currency uh, i can make a little uh a little campsite with tea like this i can make a little campsite and i can use this and travel here for free wherever i put it but uh you can only have one you can only have one of them and that's it this so you can have this plus your base and that's it you can't have nothing else you can't even sleep in here i thought you could lame i'm definitely gonna give the next season a try season phase two i'm gonna give it a try and i don't like the way that they're resetting the seasons then i'm probably not gonna play it again in the third season so i'm gonna give it a try see what they have in mind for their vision of the game and if i don't like it i would just go play rust instead simple as that although this game is really good i really enjoy it but having to constantly redo everything over and over again is boring. And if you're going to a PvP server and you have the ability to save certain things to transfer over into the next season, I find that kind of dumb. If basically, if you don't play that season and the next phase unlocks, you're already ahead, right? So if someone brand new comes in on a PvP server wanting to PvP, I'm going to assume that they have no chance, which is why I'm giving it another chance in season two because i want to play on a pvp server to see how that happens probably gonna live stream the whole thing just because and then make a separate video on that as well that's pretty much it i mean i don't really have much else to say the the building the base is good i fucked up and reset stuff so i did a whole bunch of stuff wrong on this character so i can't just delete the character either which is weird but there it is um building good gameplay good monsters are unique and fun i like it raids are good open world bosses are fun um leveling up easy killing the raid bosses solo pretty simple there's there's nothing to this game this is just another free fun game to play kind of like the first ascendant but that's more grindy this one not as bad okay not as bad and you can have more fun in it there's people that were willing to help you down in the chat here people willing to help you 
willing to kind of guide you. I see people offering like codes for for free guns and stuff to like level tens if you want to do it that way too. You want to cheese it a little bit, you can. But that's pretty much it. Easy peasy. Water tower is over there. It does rain in this game. It has to physically rain for these to open to, for these to fill up. And uh, it's only rained like twice since I played the game. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature. And it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling weird. I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear. Sometimes it could be a little.